So our last conversation in this module, I want to turn to the outward effect of the policy choices that were made in the 2000s. Uh, oftentimes when you choose a policy A over policy B, you can't really see uh, the influence it's had on someone's life. But in the case of war, and here this is what the novel is dealing with, uh, individuals who have fought in a war coming back from that war, um, what does uh, the disconnect uh, between where they were and where they are, what does that mean in their own individual lives? So let's set uh, the scene of Fountain's novel, uh, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. Uh, here you are, you can imagine yourself in a Texas football stadium uh, on a Monday night, uh, all the cameras everywhere, the cheerleaders everywhere, all of the attention of the nation watching this football game. And in the middle of the football game, we're gonna celebrate the troops, we're gonna salute the troops. And you probably remember a variety of different commercials like this where you'd be walking through the airport, maybe this, you did this yourself, thank you for your service. And it's a, it's a great thing to thank someone who's put their life on the line for you. Uh, and I think that it's something that we owe uh, those individuals, first responders, police officers, firemen, et cetera, those, those, those individuals who work hard uh, to keep life uh, safe for us. But part of the difficulty in this novel that you see is um, the individual who fought in the war is unable to link its realities and, and what he and others were attempting in that war with this securing of the American way of life um, as, um, as uh, placed within a football game. Uh, so what happens to Billy Lynn is he begins to see that most of the celebration here at home is a facade meant to do what? Meant to increase energy and exposure and embrace of a war effort uh, that seemingly has no end and at times has had no singular purpose. So what's the, what's the takeaway here? There have been many wars that Americans have fought throughout its history. You go to the Civil War, World War I, World War II, where there was a clear delineation between who you were and what you were fighting for and the person who was up against you and how that uh, individual and how that regime threatened your livelihood. Was that and is that the case in the 21st century? Not to say that... Um, that those who participate in terrorist activities are not evil and dangerous not to be dealt with. But the question is, how is that connected with a good portion of a war that begins after 9-11 and that has continued right up until the present day? So here you think about all of the wars that have been fought in the past. They're usually three or four year wars. There's a clear uh, reason for entering into that war. There are clear indicators as to how you're progressing in the war and a clear line as to when you're going to remove yourself from that war because the war has been won or lost. There's a clear notion of victory. But what you see in Billy Lynn is that there's, there's no victory because there doesn't seem to be any end to this. That war has become a means. Uh, the celebration of the troops in war has become a means that never ends. It's become an end in itself. And if that's the way that American life is going to be lived, then we're going to have one war after another war after another war in which the war has lost its central purpose, which to go back to Cota Villa is to secure the American way of life. A very, very dangerous uh, predicament that we're placed in in the 2010s and one that we don't seem to have a way out of, at least at this point in our nation's life.